Hello my beautiful people, it is Shireen Moulton back with another video. I hope you enjoyed um, Wednesday's video with the experiment. I love the colors of that, so we're going to get playing with some coasters with that. And actually, I love this color, so we're going to, I'm going to make up some more um, and we'll do something with this one. So I wanted to start off with an apology. I am so sorry, Michelle from... Um, my Canadian Lorez distributor from Artworks Resin Canada. I apologize. I said your name was Laura when I was doing my little spiel at the end. I don't know what's wrong with me. I don't know if it's my age, but odd times I want to say something and the wrong word comes out. So I want to apologize from the bottom of my heart. It is Michelle from Artworks Resin Canada. With that being said, my beautiful people, Today we're going to get into another resin video. I am so excited. I am going to try to do our dream catcher. I'm excited. So I said to my daughter, do you want one? She says, oh my God, yes. So I asked what colors. She said kind of uh, rainbow -y colors. So my thoughts are I'm going to mix my resin, which my resin of choice is crystal resin the link is in the description box i have it in a nice warm bath up in my kitchen sink because it is that time of the year my sweater's on my basement gets chilly so i'm warming it up now with that being said when you warm up your resin you do lose your working time because it it just is it heats it up so with that it helps with the bubbles number one and when my basement's cold it's kind of nice because it's easier to mix and stuff when i am mixing i am using my respirator please use your respirator please use your gloves and all your other ppe that you think you need to be safe and with that i'm not going to wear this when i come back because i like to talk and my choice anyways i'll see you guys once my resin is all ready i'll be right back but i always lose it hello we are back i have mixed up because it's me 10 ounces of resin now um my fellow youtuber um barb from aurora pores i i apologize i'm gonna have to really look at it um she's a fellow ontarian i know her from sterling ontario she made this in one of her videos and had mentioned that it took eight ounces of resin. So I mixed up 10 because it's me. Now I will link her video in the description box. So with that, I am going to, my daughter said kind of rainbow colors. And my thoughts were, I haven't used my Bombay inks in a long time. This is um, Indian inks. So I'm gonna pick out, this is the one set let me just grab the lid sorry this is um dr martin's and it's bombay set number two so i'm gonna pick out a blue this is um turquoise we're gonna pick out an orange but i think i might do i don't know actually we'll do the orange i was gonna do the this one is just called orange. How funny is that? We are going to use um, this beautiful cherry red. No, we're going to use crimson. It's a red. Uh -oh. Maybe we'll use red violet. And oh, I want to do a yellow, but I... Mm, And these need to be really shaken. We will do golden yellow. And you know what? I'm going to do this. I'm going to put pull this one out. And maybe we'll do six. Oops, that one was there. Oh, no, that one was there. Maybe we'll do six. This one is um, aqua. So I'm going to stick this over here so it's kind of out of the way. Now what my, in my little brain, it's little, it's scary. I am going to add, where did I put it? Some of fine, 
silver glitter. This one is just the extra fine holographic spinet. So I'm going to add a little of that in after I mix the colors in. So I will need one more cup. All right, so we've got two, five, six. We have six colors. And 10 ounces. So let's do... Do a little more than half in each cup, and we'll see where we go from there. And I'll see once I'm done what I have left in my cup. It's too funny, I got my... Dyson heater on and it's blowing this. All right, so I'm going to put a little bit more in a couple of them because there's not quite there. You know what? I'm just going to divide it and what I have left I will make Oh, that might be pretty. Earrings. Let me pull my little earring molds over. And you want to get all of this out. Because, you know, it is like gold. There we go. Perfect. All right. So that's going to sit over here till I'm done. Let me just... Oh, there they are. I was going to say, I know I had them here. Okay, so we'll bring those out. So I'm going to mix these little sticks. This is the crimson. So let's see. We'll start off with... Oh, I guess it helps if you squeeze the dauber. One, two, six dots. And let's see where that takes us. See, it's transparent, right? You can see through the stick, but I want it to be more red. So I'm going to put more. So that's six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, we're going to go with it. So there's ten. That one is the crimson. Um, let's do, this one is, and you remember, I got to shake them up because, as you noticed, they had settled. And this one is the red violet. We will just go with 10 drops. Let's see where that takes us. And again, we want it transparent, so I don't have to. I have to stop. All right, and then we will do the orange.
Oh, the orange is actually quite pretty. That is pretty. Okay, orange is good. Let's do the yellow. Now it was, I gotta make sure it's shaking very well because it was settled on the side. Okay, orange. This is yellow. There we go. And again, this is what I mean. I just tried to say this is yellow and it was coming out orange. I don't know, guys. Isn't that pretty? All right. That one's good. I'm just going to do a full dropper instead of counting, guys. This one is the Aqua. I'm going to squeeze my... No, this one's turquoise, sorry. I'm going to squeeze it fully and then just dump it in a half one. There we go. Oh yeah, that one's pretty as well. Look at that. Okay. And then this one is the aqua, which I'm thinking is going to be greeny blue. There we go. Yes. Sure, you give it everything a good stir. And there's the pretty green. Okay, so green, blue, yellow, orange, red, indigo. I think. Please do not comment because I'm always bad at the rainbow thing. Okay, so I am just going to take my little black spoons that my amazing Australian friend sent me. And I'm going to do one scoop in each. Because we got to have a little sparkle. Maybe we'll do... Let me stir that up first before I, I say maybe we will. Oh yeah, that's good. Look at that, guys. It's a little sparkle, but not overwhelming like as if sparkles overwhelming like what the heck those shouldn't be so I'll just do one scoop in each one those shouldn't words should not be in the same sentence glitter too much overwhelming because we want this to be a sun catcher so you want the sun to hit it and with any resin piece you don't want it 100% in the sun it will, no matter how much it's cured, it will probably warp. I'm, especially with the art stuff that you're using. I've got little glitters in there, but that'll be fine. Oh yes, look at that. It gives it that little something something, which we all need in our life. A little something something. Alrighty. I think these are going to be pretty earrings with leftover. Look at that little sunshine sparkle. Orange. I'm trying to move fast because my cups are getting warm, so I don't want to. Sure, you can all see that little bit of glitter. All right, these need to go down here. That is wet. Okay, let me get this off because I do not want. Cured resin on here that is bumpy. 
because I like to use these for my get over there. Perfect. Now let me just get a piece of tape to get up that glitter. Not like it really matters because I'm putting glitter in there anyway. But you want to start off fresh. That glitter is on the bottom. All right, perfect. I'm just gonna. I'm getting too hot down here, my friends. Just gonna stop that heater. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so with this, I'm gonna. Do I do the colors? I think I will. So let's do, let me just Google this because I don't want to goof it up. Rainbow. There we go. As soon as you hit one, nothing comes up what you want. So we got red, orange. So I'm going to start the backwards. So we're going to do the blue. Red, orange, green, yellow, blue, indigo, violet. So we'll start with the violet in the middle. And here we go. I was just going to do it. Oh. Yeah, we will just do it light variegated down. I'm just going to get everything one last quick stir because it's all starting to go. I do not want to lose 10 ounces of resin. And this is what happens when you heat up your resin. It will cure quicker. All right, we're just gonna go for it. Red. Red. Try to work quick here. Okay, red, orange. See that glitter in there? Oh my goodness, guys. Oh, stop dripping down where you don't want it to be, please. Let me just... Oh my goodness, Sherry. You 
just get these groups out of here because I don't want them in that. Okay. Look like a bunny. Yellow, orange, green, yellow. <gasps> See? Let me just green, blue, yellow. You might miss the violet in that one. Okay. So we do blue. Oh no. I do green. Oh, I'm glad I stopped it. Green. A little more in the bigger ones. Green, blue. Stupid drip. Yellow, indigo. I'm just going to finish this off with this. Oh, no, I shouldn't move that. I'm just going to put it just... Oh, my goodness. Why does it do that? Oh, I missed yellow here. You know what? I'm just gonna. Mm, there's so much extra in here, and it's gonna be such a pain. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm gonna leave this for one sec. I just don't want my. I just don't want to lose the resin that I have here. I'm gonna attempt to put. Oh my goodness. I'm get a glove. I have a mess, mess, mess gloves. I just want to wipe that off there. 
get rid of this glove. Oh my goodness. I'm going to do a couple with... Let's do... Let me see what this looks like. This one will do orange. No, we won't do the green. We'll do orange, red. Sherry. Well, we'll just do it. That and then start to really go. We'll put yellow in there and it will just, we'll give it a swirl. Make sure it fills it up. And I think, where are my coasters? Right here. And we'll just do one coaster. I'm just going to do it on the side down here. And just I'm just going to pour what's left in here quickly, just so we don't lose any of it. And then we're going to we'll deal with the top. Get some red. This will be like my coat of many colors. Ooh, it's really going thick now. Okay. Yeah. No. Sorry, you're probably off camera. And I'm just dumping it in. It's starting to go lumpy. I'm hoping I can mix. It goes from A-OK -okay to not good at all. In a matter of seconds. There we go. My coaster of mess. I'm just gonna get it to the edging and then we can play with this sometime. I just want to make sure it's all to the edges. Oh my goodness that yellow went so fast. There we go and I'm just gonna give it a swirl. And we'll see what comes of that. That might be just a right old mess. But anyways, now I need to put another glove on. And deal with, oh, I forgot the blue. Oh good, we got some, there we go. Okay, wipe off my hand. Now this, I don't know what I'm gonna do with that. I'm gonna start by giving it a quick little torch. Ooh. 
I might have bit off more than I can chew, my friends. Where's my alcohol? Oh, right here. There we go. I'm just going to put my alcohol ink. Alcohol. <gasps> what is with that? Do you see how the bubbles are? I'm going to use the tip of my glove. Wow. And I should have taken more care. Because I'm going to have to cut out all of those little... Oh, my goodness gracious. And I'm just going to... Again, bubbles. Oh, my goodness, Sherry. It went from... A-OK -okay to what the heck in a matter of seconds. Okay, so I'm just going to pick this one up again. Give it, now that I've added the blue, give it another little just back and forth swirl. Just to kind of give it a, not a, oh, you just poured that in there pattern. There we go. Give that a spritz, which... Again, I don't think it's going to do anything. Oh, it did. Wow, that's craziness. Okay, so with that, my friends, I'm going to let this cure. I'm hoping I didn't ruin it. I'm just going to try and burst the bubbles as, they're, as I can see them with my finger. And this is how not to. Now, you could take, oh, there's a big bubble. You could take, um, where did I put it? This and scrape it all off. But at this point in time, it is a little late, I think. So we're going to leave them all. That Those are going to be awesome. We're going to leave them now and see what comes May. So I'm going to leave them overnight, and I will see you guys in the morning and we'll unveil all of these lovely things. Hopefully we didn't ruin anything. There is glitter in there. That is for sure. Okay, I'm gonna give another spritz. I'm so disappointed. I should have done, yeah, but it's hard to do one color at a time with this type of aspect so anyways i will shut up and i will turn you off and i will come back when this is cured i'll see you in a bit guys hello we are back i am so upset that i have i have to <laughs> i'm gonna have a lot of cutting out to do so we will start with oh my goodness my coaster is going to be cool we'll do something on top of that um Look at the little earrings. I don't know if you can see them. That's cute. And this one I think is adorable. We're going to have to trim the edges. But it kind of... Let me get a piece of white paper. Here, let's just put it on the back of this thing here. Oh, the coaster mold. I think that's cute. Cute, cute, cute. So those are those two. Little earring thingies. All the extras. Now let's get into what my intention was to make. <clears throat> I'm not worried about the feathers. The only thing is I have a couple of blobs. So be mindful. You can see the blobs when I was pouring. So this is my first attempt, so that's fine. Let's pop them all out, and I'm probably going to make a second one. But that looks cool, and you can see the glitter in that. <gasps> Amazing. So I'm going to pop them all, excuse me, pop everything out, and then we will take a better look at everything because Sherry has some work cut out for her. I'm 
like live and learn, right? So this intricate part, oh my goodness. So we're gonna have to do something. It's hard to get it out because I'm hoping it's not because of, there we go. Because there's resin in it. But you know what, actually, I like, oh, I'm on the fence. I like it either way. I don't know if you can see. Here, I'll, we'll just pull it all out and I'll show you. And this big one might be hard to get out because the resin is covering it. Don't be afraid to give it a little bit of a pull because it is stuck in there. And with me, with my overflowage, actually, you know what? I think I might do that next time on purpose because it gives it even more of a... I actually, I'm not hating it with it because you have two effects. But realistically, it should not have all of the overdrip on there. So with that, I'm going to have to dig out some holes because I want to make sure this hole, I found this tool. Um, it is out of a woodworking kit that I had. It's kind of cool. So I'm going to see, and the bubbles were crazy on this. So we will remake this. Now that I've got all my little, oops, we're going to go on this end. Oh my goodness. <gasps> that works amazing. Okay, let's see. In alongside the resin. Let me just see if it'll work. <sighs> it does, guys. Look, it's cutting it. Oh, okay. I'm going to show you what I'm doing and then I'm going to take my time and I know I shouldn't be cutting it towards me, but sometimes you have to be careful with these sharp knives. I find I have more control. Me personally. So everyone is different. I have more control when I'm pulling things towards me is going this way and then you go too much. So I'm going to keep proceeding. Getting all of these little pieces out. And then I will come back when that is done. I will search out my beads. And we will um, have fun putting this together. I think some sea beads and different colors because I have buckets. And I mean buckets of sea beads that we can um, add a few of them on before we put Because you want to add, let me see, how do I do this? Okay, let me put the boards this way. <laughs> Excuse me. Let's do this. And because I'm going to. So you have to put that. And then. Let me see. We got. There. So this will come in the middle. And then. Any which way. three sizes. I 
missing. One, two, three. One, two. This one has an extra. That's. What? It does have an extra. This is faulty. Oh my goodness. That is funny. I'm going to have to mes message that. I don't know if I want to share the link now. I guess maybe make another extra feather, but that's going to look weird. We have an extra hole. So we have one for this, which lines up with the center. And we're missing. There's an extra one here. I'm going to see if maybe I can cut it off. That's weird. But anyway, I'll show you the feathers. They all turned out pretty cool. You can see the glitter. And this little guy is really cute. And you don't have to use all of it. You can just make a small one, right? Use all the little ones. Like have a big one in the middle. And then a couple of the little ones you can have so anyways I'm gonna put you on pause I'm gonna clean this and this all out and then we'll come back with um, some findings and some beads to put it together so I'll see you guys in a bit hello we are back oh my goodness four hours later a bruise a blister and a cut later I tell you it is not perfect but you know what it's my first one it's going to my daughter she won't care but I tell you guys do not overfill your mold it is a major pain in the behind so I in my brain thought that I would make being it's for my daughter I wouldn't do this with if I was just gonna sell them because eh. People don't want to pay money for something so um, these are crystals that I have like I said I was I'm a jewelry designer as well I have oodles and oodles these are all crystals um, some of them are Swarovski's so I thought we would just do plain AB which means that there's a coating on it that makes it look like a rainbow and I have they're all clear and they're all different sizes so i'm going to show you how to make one and then i'm gonna probably two then i'll proceed and then i'll bring you back to when it is time to do the um the actual putting it together so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna move these buttes out of the way And I got my beads in groups. Put them up here Woo! without knocking everything over. And then we will. I'll bring you up close so I can show you what my intentions are. I promise they're good. Good intentions. Oh, those are two. Let me just, we'll put them all together. I know what I've got. So I'm doing one large one in the middle, a smaller version, different shape on either side, and then littler ones on the ends. So I'm gonna bring you in. So you can kind of see what I'm gonna do here. Actually, let me bring you this way. Whoops, get off there. Sorry guys. Okay, so what I have here, this is 20 gauge wire you can use whatever you want this i find works for me um just your basic little tools my son moved into my upstairs craft room so i can't find all my big 
big big girl tools i have these little ones so it don't matter what they are so what i'm going to do i will make a loop so what you need to do is bring your around there make a loop bring it this way and then uh, just wrap it around i usually try and do like two two complete turns and that's what you get then you take your little nippers little cuts and you snip that off and hopefully this little i think these are dollar store <clears throat> here i'm gonna bring you out because i'm thinking you're missing me there you go i'm gonna these dollar store little oh it worked all right perfect so then you want to measure roughly so i'm going to cut it off to here and then feed our beads on so i got little ones and you want to make sure that your holes because the different gauges of wire are different thicknesses right so you want to make sure that they're thick enough or thin enough to fit your beads on so that is what i'm making to hang okay so you want because it's bendy you want to make sure all the beads are down you want to push it close as you can close as you can bring it one way bring up your thing and then bring it and give it a twist you might not get two twists in here because it might be tight and then you can take your other pliers to help you with to get it nice and tight in there there you go it's only one but that's fine it's enough to close it off and then take your little sciz scissors your little uh wire cutters and snip and then what you've got hanging around you just take your little flat ones and oh my goodness sherry spinning on me it's been a while since i've made jewelry and there you go just keep going around till it's sucked in there perfect see and i'll do the same with the top little one easy peasy and then i went out and bought because i couldn't find I got the bigger jump rings because I wanted to make sure that Ugh. oh my goodness Michaels wants to make sure that you don't take these wow these are 10 millimeter just um, aluminum rings oh my goodness it doesn't help when my fingers are sore today I'm just gonna dump them here. Now, people, I've I've read on different things where people have issues opening these jump rings when you're doing things. So you take two, don't matter what they are, don't matter what the edging is, it don't matter. I even do it sometimes with my nippers. There is a little, there's a split ring. So there's a whole, there is a cut. So you put your your one tool on one side of the cut, other tool on the other side. These are so small. And then just twist. One twist. And that's all you need. So we're going to do this. We're going to do this. Oh, it is big enough. All right. And you want to make sure they're going to go the right way. So you want this to be this way. I'm just going to, 
Oh, we're going to put that that way first. Brain fart. And then same idea. One tool, one tool, and twist back. Don't bend. Just like that. And there you have one dangly. You could put two rings together, make it look fancy. Now I'm going to take another ring. Do the same. Exact same thing. My eyes are so bad. I don't know, guys. Give it one twist. And now we're going to put this on the end of that. So we want to put that in there. And you always want to make sure it's going to go the right way. So we're going to flip this this way. And it's going to flip around anyways, but you want to initially start with it the right way. And then two tools. Always two tools. Don't do it with one because you will bend it out of shape. And then just nicely come back. And there you go. I think that's going to be pretty. So I'm going to make a couple more. And let's get at it. I'm just going to estimate. My beads aren't that long, so I'm just going to cut. How many feathers? We need one, two, three, four, seven. So we need one. Two, three. Oh! Okay, I am gonna do this because I think I I didn't. Uh, I may not have enough, so I have to pay attention to what I'm doing now. Okay, flip it up. One, two snip nice and close always hold on to your pieces because they will fly like a bird poke someone in the eye and you don't want that feed the beads on little one medium big medium and little And there we go. Oh yeah, there's enough there for two. Okay, so let's do this again. One. It might come up just a tad so we can wrap it. Okay, so one up and then pull. And then you can get two wraps out of that. One and two. And a little snip. Oh my gosh, I haven't done this in a while. Perfect. Give it a little bend it back in of these. Done. Then make sure the holes are kind of the same, facing the same way. And that way your products will just bend them so they're even. All right. Do it again. One. Up. Twist. Two. Hold on to your piece so you don't poke your neighbor's eye out. You can actually pull them together, make this one straight. There we go. And again, little, medium, little, oh, large, almost missed the big guy. Medium, and little. Feed them all down. Let's do up just a tad so we have a little room to do a wrap. And there we go. Just a 
close that hole. Little snip. Oh, I have to find my good tools. I have very expensive tools that I have. Sorry, just want to make sure that, that little tail is pushed in. There we go. Another one. So that one is not long enough, but we will do another one. Get as close as I can to the end because I don't want to waste any because I wanting to make sure I got enough. Snip. Push it in now. It's easier before the beads get on. Make sure your little loop is on the straight on the end. And here we go again. Little medium. Humongous. And again, guys, you don't want to watch all this. I'm going to do them all. You're getting it all, my friends. These look like little disco balls. These are so pretty. I'm a magpie. Just anything that sparkles. You know how it is, girls, boys. All right. Again, same thing. Easy peasy. it's the same way. Better do it now than later. Ideally, uh, ideally you'd like to clip close as you can. But like I said, I'm using little dollar store tools. <laughs> Too funny. There's another one. Let's You don't want to poke yourself in the eye if you don't have a neighbor because it can be dangerous. I've done a few beating classes in Toronto. It's kind of funny. I'll try and cut that closer because it's. And you don't want to keep bending because these this will break. Ideally, it will break because it's not very. That's good enough. All right. Little. Big. Medium sized. Oh my goodness. It's hard to find the hole. There we go. Big. Medium. Little. There we go. I'm just, I want to make sure I have enough wire because I don't know where all of my, I have oodles of it, guys. You think I buy resin stuff? I did the exact same with the jewelry. Craziness. My name is Sherry. I'm an addict. Enough, just a, one round. It's not going to really make it. Get the bend. You're not really going to see all this. 
Ideally, you wouldn't do this, but because Sherry's running out of materials, and I still have one, two, three, four. I need two more after this one, and then one I'm going to do for the top. I don't know what I'm going to. Big one. Medium one. Little one. I had smaller beads, but they uh, didn't quite fit through my um, wire because my wire was a little bit big. Now, the higher the gauge in wire, the thinner it is. So, like I said, this one's a 20. It's pretty good to do like what I'm doing here to make beading things, but then you can get wire that's huge. Like 18 gauge wire is pretty thick. The smaller, the thicker, the the larger, the finer. Does that make sense? All right, there we go. And we will just work from this big one. Get as many as I can out of it. Two twists. Sorry if I'm out of the way. Bring them together. close as you can without cutting your little loop. Done that before. All right, and here we go. Again, little medium, big, medium. as we can. Yep. And there we go. Give it a press in. Perfect. Now, ugh. make sure they're the same go in the same way so that when you hang something they both hang right I think <gasps> we're on the last one my friends at least I've only got one more one two three four five six seven yep for some reason I was thinking I had another one I'm gonna keep a little bit of this because I want to add another one on the top before I add some chain Give it a cut. Cover that up. Oh, that one's pretty flush. There we go. Run the home stretch. One. Medium. Large. Oh my goodness. My finger is so sore today. <laughs> too funny oh yes please please do not overfill the mold and I'm disappointed I actually I'll show you what I did because I did it off camera because I was so perturbed because the mold wasn't cheap it was like I think it was 25 or 28 for the mold from Amazon but it's got an extra peg and I don't know why. An extra loop. I'm just going to try and bend that. I've got one straggly. There we go. Perfect. Okay, so now 
those out of the way. We're just going to start opening up some jump rings and adding them to the feathers. And then we'll put the feathers on top. All right. Again, find the little hole, the little um, part that's split, open, one, one, and then close. Ooh, I didn't preach what I pra practiced what I preached. See, if you don't keep it even together, you come out with, oh, where did it, come on. It comes out where it's not quite together. And you want to make sure they're together. Just wiggle back and forth. There you go. So there's one feather. And again, fast forward if you want, but you're getting it all, my friends. One bead. These tools are just so awkward to use. They're little. There you go. You hear that clicking. Another jump ring. These are called... I don't think they're called... You can get split rings, but I'm pretty sure a split ring is the ones that you put on like your keychain. So there's two, two of them soldered together and then you feed your keys on it. I think that's, there we go. And oh, I'm so upset because I have colored, I've iodized colored ones like of these jump rings. So I have to find them because the colored would be pretty in here. Again, together, one small twist. Doesn't have to be huge. Enough that you, the reason why I'm doing it so big is because this is so thick. You need that room. But normally you wouldn't open them that much. And that's when you get warping of them, is when you open them too much. You just need a little, like, most times you're just opening it like that. But because I'm, those feathers are quite thick, you need to get in that. And together, close. It's good when you hear that little tingy pinky. I don't know if you can hear it on my video. There. In there, twist. Oh, see, and I didn't even need it as big as I was doing it, so there we go. My goodness, guys, you know what's next? <gasps> we get to add one on each end of these and then put it on. Now, with this, I'm gonna move this out of my way. And these stands, I buy them at Walmart. They're a kitchen cupboard stand. Best thing, because if you're, oh, we lost feed. If you're working a lot and it's, it brings your work up to you a little bit better, which is kind of nice. Okay, so I'm gonna move that over here, move this over here. Let's get our girl down here. Okay, so I just wanna get it laid out the way I want it. So it's going to come like that. I had, if you pay attention, the actual feathers go in a certain spot. See, this is the right side up. That's the back side. I prefer the back side. Well, actually, I probably could just flip them, but they're concaved. So it goes in, in on its own. Just you see what I'm saying. Yeah, I like this side facing better. You don't get the lip. And then this one goes down in here. This one will go here. No, down here. 
And this one will go here. And then the littler ones, I think, are better up against that. There. Or do I do it this way? I'm going to do one of each because I can switch it around and we will see. Okay, I'm going to open up. We need seven. We're going to do this again. I'm not going to get up and close because you've seen how I was doing them. So this one we will do like this. Put it on. But you want to be mindful of how you're putting this bead on. I want this side facing up, so I'm going to leave it laying down so that I make sure. I know you're not seeing what I'm doing, but just to make sure that it's in there. And then again. Video purposing, this is kind of hard. Okay. You want to close it. Two. I'm just bringing them up, guys, because I need to be able to. Don't forget, Sherry's blind. And I don't mean that in a bad way. I just can't see. My eyes are bad. I didn't mean a bad thing about that. Oh, actually. Now, what do you think? It's going to hang better that way? Uh, I'll put the other one on and we will decide which way. So this goes in, put this on, and I'm going to bring it up so I can see what I'm doing. Oh my goodness, Sherry. Always when you want to work fast, eh? Okay. I'm sorry, this is Friday. This is crazy how I'm just crazy busy with working five days a week and it's like, oh my goodness. I have good intentions and then life happens, right? So put that in there, feed this on. Sure it's going the right way. So this is the front. No, it's not. I have it the wrong way. Oh, it's hilarious. Oh well, I'll flip it around later. I had this piece the wrong way. Too funny. The story of my life. So now I gotta make sure I put that the wrong way. So this has to go. So, oh, I think big, oh, you're not even in the way here. Let me bring you up. I'll show you. Not sure which way to hang it. Actually, I think the big one, we're going to switch those two, but we'll put the other ones on here first and make sure I got it going the right way. This is backwards. All right. I like the long one here. Okay, so we're gonna do this quick. As quick as possible. All right, we're gonna do this way. And this one here. And 
it's cloudy and horrible today. So it's not even gonna, and today's Friday, like I just said, I'm not gonna be able to get a nice picture outside. So I will do a short and show you outside what it looks like. I'm so upset that that stupid dot there. So if I do this again, I'm thinking I'm gonna mix my resin colored off camera, because that's what took the most mixing up all that stuff and not being able to properly um, have the time. Everything seized up on me. Perfect. All right. Oh yes. I think so. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna flip these around really quick. These two. And literally flip them around. Let me make sure. Actually, I guess it doesn't really matter because it is, they're going to swing around anyways, like it's going to go like this. So let's get this quick. Two seconds and we'll be done. You can double up these rings, give them a twist so they look a little bit more fancy. I'll do that in the next video when I do them. But this one is just playing around just to see. <laughs> and where did that one come from? That's why you want to make sure they're closed, guys. See, my eyes are so bad. This is actually quite huge. Here we go. I think it turned out pretty. I think my daughter will be happy. Okay, now the top. Again, what is with that? Didn't close right. You gotta pay attention, guys. See? This is what you do when. And I put it on the wrong way. Oh, no, that's. So what, well, what can solve this problem is, you can open up another jump ring. You can feed it in here, feed it through. Let me see. I'll show you how to double it up. Feed it through there. Feed it through that jump ring like that and like that and then close it and it gives a different it's got two rings interlocking as opposed to the one 
I'll probably come around and do all that. I am impressed, even though it's got blisters. And I think it's going to be beautiful because you can see the glitter in it. So now I need to make something for the top. So I'm thinking... Another bead thingy. But I'll use all the... Um, I'll do two big ones. And then two little ones. Oh, actually, this shape has two sizes. So we'll do that, that. Oh, you can tell these ones are Swarovski's. Yeah. So we'll do that. And then it'll be something that we can attach it with. I don't think you need a chain. Let's see. I'm just making the same what we were just doing. I do have chain here that we can attach to it as well. Just bring that down. And then we're just going to feed these bigger beads. I'll show you what I mean. The, the ones on the ends are legit Swarovski crystals with AB, and you can tell the difference, my friends. Can you, I don't know if it's showing or not, but can you tell this one and this one are actual Swarovskis? So you can see the difference. Like I said, this is from a baby girl, so. I don't mind using the good stuff. Two twists, cut it off. And all I can keep thinking is I hope my snippers can cut the chain. There was a business in town that was going out of sale, out of business, and had a huge sale of stuff. and. I went in and bought a whole bunch of chain. So I got this whole roll of chain. It is I have no idea. I just figured I'd put a little bit on so she can either hook it to something. It's just like a box chain. Oh, sorry. It's like a box chain. So I'm just going to cut one loop. I'm hoping these little guys will cut it. Because like I said, these are just... Oh, it did. Perfect. Okay. These are just like dollar store things. So I'm going to take the jump ring, open it up, put the chain through, put the bead through, give it a twist. And I'm going to do two. Give it a little more of a decorative look. So I'm going to put it through my loop, put it through the other loop, but when you're doing that, you want to actually put it through the jump ring as well. Don't go side by side. Make sure it's in that jump ring. And then give it a twist. Oh, my goodness. And you can do multi of these. It did. Oh my goodness, Sherry. I'm sorry, guys. This is probably painful for you. Okay, we just threw there. Let me just quickly try and do this. There you go. And I'm 
missed <laughs> putting it in there. Wow. I gotta concentrate. I'm gonna put it through. Put it through. And then just slip it through. There we go. And you get like a little, like I said, a little, a little rosette. So now I'm gonna do the same thing here and then. She can adjust that chain however she wants. The best way to, oh, I gotta put it through there anyways. Here, here. it's holding it up I'm gonna do a double one just in case not like it's gonna break so you want to put it through the loop you want to put it through that and then through There we go. Now I'm going to close it. There. Perfect. So there you go. I'm going to hang it on my screen and I'll show you and I'll be right back, guys. Well, there you go, guys. I put a canvas behind it so you can actually see it. Now that I'm seeing it hanging, not sure about moving the big ones up and put the little ones there. So I might swap that around and then I'll do a little video. Hopefully, like I said, it's Friday. It's like nine o'clock right now and I feel bad because this is not up yet and I have to go to work. So I'm not sure if it's going to be a nice video today, but... I think these crystals are gonna make it shine. And I was saying here, they had an extra hook. Why, I don't know. If there was one there, that would be fine. But because there was an odd one, I just, I put it in warm water and I just um, kept cutting it with uh, my X-Acto knife. Hence the blister, hence the cut. So anyways, my amazing, beautiful people, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I will do another one and I will not overfill because that is crazy. So with that, I hope you enjoyed. If you have not yet subscribed, please, please subscribe. I'm almost at 75,000. I would love to reach that 100,000. So if, you know, Give it a thumbs up if you like, give it a share, and hit the bell for notifications so when I put up my next video. And with that, in my description box, I have the links to my Facebook page, the ink links to my Amazon shops, which I'm an affiliate with. I also have the links to where to purchase Tri Art Liquid Glass. I have the links to Fundy Molds with my discount code. I also have the links to the wonderful, the amazing two Lorez distributors. And I'm going to get this right, Michelle, my lovely Michelle from Artworks Resin Canada, my Canadian distributor from Lorez. Use my discount code for Michelle. It's Sherry Molten 10, capital S, capital M. And also the wonderful, the amazing Laura from Laura's Art Corner, my glitter guru as well. She is my American Lores distributor. My discount code for Laura is all capital letters, 
Sherry Moulton 10. Go check out both these ladies' websites. They're amazing. And also, with save the best for last, my PayPal link is in there if you want to donate, help grow my channel with some more products. So with that, my friends, I will see you in the next one. Love you guys. Bye. There you go, guys. Sorry it's flipped sideways, but I thought I'd bring it out. I have it jimmied <laughs> to my leaf bag holder, but I thought I'd bring it out and let you see. Look at that. It sparkles. Amazing. All right, guys. I'll see you later. Love you. Bye.